everyone, Mary here and Joel, and we're here today to talk to you about archaeology. So um, I actually have a degree in archaeology, um, that was my undergraduate degree in college. Um, I know Joel is a passionate lover of archaeology and has worked on many sites, so we just thought maybe we'd hit a few passes and talk about it today. So Joel, how would you like to start? Um, I don't know, you want to talk about shovel tests, metal detecting? Sure. You know, you did probably a lot of shovel testing in school. It's true. Um, and on battlefields, uh, shovel testing are a great tool, uh, but uh, metal detectors work great for finding metallic objects, and it's a lot quicker and easier um, to find the objects and recover the data mm -hmm. um, than digging hundreds of shovel tests and finding one or two things. Right. Um, so what a lot of what I do is with metal detectors in archaeology, it's battlefield archaeology, um, which doesn't just, it's not just working in the dirt. Um, we work in the dirt, but then we also do live fire ballistic studies mm -hmm. to study the arms that are being used in the revolution and up through the Civil War. Um, and then we also study battle strikes related to uh, firearms that were nice. doing the shooting. So right. a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything, why not? Yeah, it definitely, um, depending on where you're working and what you're trying to find, what your end goal is, you definitely need to know what technology to use that would best suit your, yeah, your there's, environment. Yeah, there's many different tools that can be used. Um, today also, they have uh, 3D laser scanning mm -hmm. of things that, you know, 30 years ago, some of this stuff was unheard of, ground penetrating radar, which we talked about a little while ago. Mm -hmm. um, working on a project uh, where next week we're doing ground penetrating radar to uh, see what was in the ground around this structure um, mm -hmm. that we're doing some studies on. So there's all sorts of new technologies that can be used. And they're just other tools uh, in the tool belt. Great. Um, so last week or so you went on the, a trip, didn't you, to work on archaeology at Russell House? Oh, that was uh, the Jason Russell House in Arlington, Mass. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of the scenes of some of the heaviest fighting on the, April, on the afternoon of April 19th, 1775, the first day of the revolution. Mm -hmm. And it was struck uh, many times by musket balls. And this has been an ongoing project over the past year, and we're still working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, going through and recording all the data from the ball strikes. We're doing uh, presumptive lead tests on all the strikes, looking for any traces of lead. Um, taking the caliber of the ball by the size of the hole that went through, um, ballistics rods and lasers to figure out where each shooter was. Um, and if you want to find out more about that, uh, Arlington Historical Society blog, uh, check it out. Uh, it's a pretty cool article that they wrote and kind of gives an dis overall description of the project. Yeah, and it actually, there's a lot of archeology span like right under your noses, wherever you may be in the country. Um, if you just do a quick Google short search, excuse me, um, there's a lot of places you can volunteer actually and you'll get like a quick training course and they'll go out there, get you out there and have them help out during the summer. I know in Rhode Island there's um, a bunch in Newport um, that are marine archaeology based and there's ones kind of all around. So if you have an interest or a passion like me and Joel may have, you too can join in and help out saving some history and learning about the past. Yeah, it's great, great stuff. Getting out doing a field school mm -hmm. or um, getting out on a project, volunteering, helping. Uh, I'm not a professional archaeologist, I'm just an avocational, um, but I love, uh, love battlefield archaeology. It brings you closer to the history. If you're into archaeology, like Mary said, um, go out and volunteer. It's a lot of fun. You can learn a lot. Thanks, everyone. That's B-R-U-N-E-A-U.